Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to back up your Ubuntu system using GRSync. GRSync is a graphical user interface for RSync, which is a powerful tool for synchronizing files and directories between two different locations. GRSync simplifies the process of creating and managing RSync backups, and it is available in the Ubuntu software repository. So, let's get started with the backup process. Before you install the application first update your system it is always a good idea to update your system before installing a new application. Run the following command to install GRSync. Enter your password when prompted, and wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is complete, you can launch GRSync by going to the Applications menu, searching for GRSync, and clicking on the icon or you can launch it from the terminal. In the GRSync interface, you will need to configure the backup settings. If you don't understand what each option does, just go with the defaults. The first thing you need to do is to select the source and destination directories. The source directory is the location of the files you want to backup, while the destination directory is where you want to save the backup files. To select the source directory, click on the folder icon next to the source field and browse to the location of the files you want to back up. To select the destination directory, click on the folder icon next to the destination field and browse to the location where you want to save the backup files. Once you have configured the backup settings and options, you can now start the backup process by clicking on the Execute button. GRSync will start backing up your files to the destination directory. After the backup process is complete, you can verify the backup by checking the destination directory to make sure that all the files have been backed up successfully. You can create as many sessions as you like, each with its own set of parameters. Sessions come in handy while performing various types of backups as well as scheduling backups. You may designate separate sessions for local backup, remote backup, and synchronization. For example, GRSync comes with a preset session called default. Only a few settings are active in the default session, and they are all secure to use. It is recommended to perform a dry run before running the actual backup. It will simply demonstrate what will happen during the backup process. By running a dry run, you can see what will happen in the background while running a backup without actually running the actual backup. Just go to File then Simulation. That's it for this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Ubuntu tutorials. Thank you for watching.